Hey y'all, this is Kelly at Crochet Ma for Life. I hope y'all are all doing well today. Um, it's Sunday, um, September 4th. And um, I just got off work a little while ago and it about kicked my tail. And uh, I tell you, when I, when I got in the house, I uh, immediately got in the gown, the Walmart gown, as I call them. And that's what it is. And um, I sat down in my chair, you know, I had me a cup of coffee. And um, I sat there for a little bit and I said, you know, I really need to make this video. <laughs> so so I, I need to stop putting it off, you know, because that, com that chair is comfortable. That's what, you know, it's been keeping me held down. <clears throat> so uh, I got up and I got out of my Walmart gown and I put on me a t-shirt and some shorts. So. I did all that for y'all. Because <laughs> as soon as I get done, I'm going back in that Walmart gown. Um, but it was a pretty busy day at the store. And on um, Sundays, everybody gets out of church and they come to our store. And because we have a little buffet uh, thing they go through and they pick out what they want. And, you know, <clears throat> the servers would dip it out for them or whatever. It's a convenience store with the deli so a little cooking area i don't know if they have all that up north but down here in the south you're going to find a service station with a, a deli in it like that so anyway it was and i had a billion things to do so but i'm off tomorrow and um i'm just got to do stuff around here tomorrow if i can get myself up and going but I wanted to come on here and show you some things I've been doing since we last talked. And um, I guess I'm going to show you my works in progress first. And um, I don't work on these as much as I need to because I just, I'm just, I just love doing the little bitty things, little toys and stuff. But here's my ombre blanket I'm still working on. I'm almost through one of those ombre super you know well, I forget what they call them you know the big red heart ombre and it's the big one so I'm almost done with one skin so I really like the way this is working out and it's a very easy pattern and it's a tutorial crochet crowd <coughs> excuse me from the crochet crowd Mikey and um I'll do my best to remember to go back and do all this linking for y'all if you if you want to do it. But um, it's a very easy blanket. And I apologize if the lighting is not great in here. I guess I got used to going outside. And then when I come back in this little room, it feels off to me. So maybe it's not off to y'all. But so that's my one works in progress. And then I'm still working on the blanket for my granddaughter Hayden, and uh, I got to I got to get going a little bit more on this. Um, it's just a granny stitch blanket. It's got the red heart camouflage cafe latte and the color red heart thyme. <clears throat> the color that's what the colors are. So I need to work on it more because. I get to work and, you know, and I think, what is the pattern sequence? So, I, I got to get my brain acclimated. As, that was a avalanche, I'm sure. Um, to, you know, to doing it again. So, I need to try to, I need to try to get up and every morning before I go to work and maybe do a row. And just discipline myself because I like blankets. But I've just got so crazy about these amigurumis that I, when I'm working on something like this, I just really want to get back to my toys. So, so that's my two works in progress. And um, I wanted, the last time, you know, when we finished talking, I uh, got my books out and I had these um, things in mind that I wanted to do. So I said, well, I'm going to stick to it. Um, we'll stick to it. I'm gonna try anyway, but I did stick to it last week, and so I wanted to go into this book again. 
and I have made so far um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I've made seven. Let me look. Let me see if you'll tell me all the things that is in here. Be nice if there was a picture, and I, I'm sure it is. Yes, here it is. Let's see. Let me count them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, I didn't want that. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see, Kelly Dawn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I've made five things out of here. So this will be my six that I, I finished. Look, I didn't I didn't use it so much. I got some black fingerprints right there. That makes me mad. Anyway, these are easy patterns, especially if you're just breaking into amigurumi i suggest this pattern there's one or two things that i would suggest differently on each pattern but she always gets you to chain one at the end of it join and chain one i I've, I've done that one time and it looked like i had a seam all the way up it so i, I just i just don't do chain one i just do continuous rounds so that's what i would suggest and so, um, and then this time when I made this, I was a little bit more conscious of um, sewing it together because of the head. So I, when I sewed it together, because <clears throat> all my other ones have been kind of floppy, you know, like they, they was flopping the head around. Well, I was more conscious this time on this one to try to make sure that didn't do it. So I made y'all, and I added some stuff to it. It just wasn't in the pattern, wasn't part of it. But I made another pink one. And uh, I had, when it, it was kind of challenging, you know, I'm not challenging, I was kind of ho hum about it, you know. and uh, But then towards the end, I got a little bit more excited about what I was going to do to it. But when I, I at, you know, you do the, the head and the body, is two pieces, okay? And then you make the feet. Well, I started out have an orange feet and an orange beak, you know, separately. The more I got thinking about it, no, I don't need to make the, that orange. I need to make it like kind of like the book. Because <laughs> then I got thinking about this part. But this was a very easy pattern. Super easy. Now the eyes were easy, but I have a tendency. Okay, see the eyes? You see where the eyeball is right there? Well, because you kind of work in the going around, you know, to make each one. And then that, this part right here, I always I have a gap in it. So what I did is when I got finished with it, I took the tail and made it a little bit longer because I knew I was going to have to sew it. But I took the tail and I kind of pieced together on the back side of these where they would, that little gap would kind of close up. So if you make this, just keep that in mind. I don't know if you crochet like I do, but um, sometimes I get that gap. If, you know, any any time I do like that, I can get that gap. Um, but I think he turned out super cute. And the pattern didn't call for the hat and didn't call for the scarf. But you know, that other one I made, it was cute like that. So I said, well, that's what I want to do. Because um, cause when I take the hat off, you know, there he is. So that's cute, too. I ain't done that yet. But anyway, I made a little hat. And I made a pom-pom. And I sewed a pom-pom on. And it was kind of wobbly. So I did like Mama Lama Kata. I hot glued some stuff to it. I got it to where it's hot glued. So, Yep. I really love that, and I have someone on Facebook, she says she wants it, if I wanted to sell it, and I told my husband, he said, you're not selling it, he said, you'll just have to make her one, so I got to do that, <clears throat> it's the same little boy that I made the cow, 
back, you know, back in the, I don't know, fe January, February of my video. He's in the penguins now. So, <clears throat> I got to make him one. But, yeah, I think he's really cute. I, I'm just real tickled over it, and I don't want to get rid of it. So, that's my finished, my finished little pretty. And, uh, you know, the pom I've seen people with pom-poms, and they just look so perfect. And I'm never really satisfied with it, but, you know, it's okay. I think I, I did all right with it. And, um, but yeah, that's my little, my little penguin. I'm, I'm in love with it. And that's a super easy pattern. It really is. Um, so that's my finished pretty. And then I got a little basket of things. <laughs> um, this basket, by the way, was a tutorial of uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And I don't think I made mine as tall, but, um, it's the gist of it's just like hers, you know, except mine's not as tall, I don't think. Um, I need to make some more of these because these are so nice. So I got a little basket of um, pretties right here. Now this one I made last year. I'm just going to show it to you because I've got it sitting on my, my television entertainment center thing. I got a whole little thing, thing going on there. But I made this last year about this time. This is a uh, olive stringy ding ding pattern, and uh, it was super fun. I wanted to show y'all, but that I dug that out week before last when I was cleaning this room up, and I seen it. I said I got to put that out. So it's kind of put me in that mood, you know. That was a cute pattern to do. So that I wanted to show y'all that. Okay, so um, this I made last Saturday. And uh, it took me just about all day, half the day. More than longer than it should have. Let's just put it that way. But I made a little pumpkin. And I kind of made his face like that one I just showed you. And it was super easy to do. And it's a, a small one. Now, Miss Ella, no catchy name. I don't know when she put this out. A couple, maybe two years ago. She put out a jack-o'-lantern pattern on her Etsy shop and so this is her pumpkin I just kind of made a different face and y'all need to go check out that pattern last time I looked at it last week she had it for a dollar I think I paid two dollars for it very reasonable you know back when when she first come out with it so y'all go check out her Etsy shop and I will try to make sure that I link all this in the description box if you don't see it at first, please come back. Because I'll download this video and then I'll go back and put all that stuff in. So when you first click on my video, if I ain't got all that in while y'all watching it, come back to it if something in my video interests you. But yeah, go check out Miss Ellis Etsy shop and uh, get her little jack o' lantern pattern. She's got a couple of different sizes. And like I said, I did my my face different because um, I kind of wanted to, I got to thinking about that one. And I kind of wanted to match. So anyway, that was a cute little thing, tiny thing. So then I got on, got online and I found some little monsters. And it's like a little squishy. I made this one. Uh, let me write, see what I want. It's a blog spot called Crafty is Cool dot blogspot dot com, and I will link that. It's got several of them you can make with different. You know, I mean, you know, different facial. She shows you different facial things, so that it's kind of squishy. I like that. So that's sitting on my TV, TV entertainment center. Well, just in time, Miss Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. She put up her video about her little monsters. And so I wanted to make that. And that, I got that done lickety split. Of course, my lickety split's about two hours. Now, I don't know what y'all's lickety split is, but by the time I take a nap and I watch the episode or, or video or whatever, you know, whatever, when I wake up, then I go back to it. 
but very easy. So I made, which one was first? Which one was first, Kelly? Hmm. This one. I made this little little monster. Ain't it cute? You make this all in one piece. And that was very cool. And it was very easy. Her tutorial is awesome, Miss Crystal. It's so, I mean, she did a really good job on that tutorial. And uh, y'all know Miss Crystal goes through a lot and uh, with her health. And I mean, I was just, um, I was just so tickled. She, when I actually, I seen it. I seen uh, where she was going to make a tutorial and it was going to be, I guess, uploaded the next day if I can remember right. And I had to go to work. And I thought about that video from the time I went to work all day long. I was thinking about that. I hope that video is up. And she she don't tell no story. It was up. And I was just tickled to death. That was like a treat for me to sit in my chair after the long day I had and work on these little things. So I thank you, Miss Crystal. And you know what? What you just put out there on YouTube... It's going to be seen and seen and seen and seen. It's going to have so many, so many clicks on that video through the years. And that's a lasting legacy. It really is. So, I just want y'all to see. Alright, so I got on that kit. I made this one. And then I made this one. And, uh, you know, Sometimes I got the little legs and things right. The first two was kind of like um, prototypes for me. I finally got the gist of where I what I needed to do, but I still think it's cute. So I'm stuck on the one eyes. I, she shows you that you can make different, but I'm stuck on them one eyes. I I just love them. So then I made um I made this one. He kind of looks like he's, you know, he's got something serious on the brain. So I made that one. And so I got I got up the next one uh the next after that, the next morning, and I made this one. I like him. So each one of them is a little bit different as far as the size and maybe the legs. I think this one is pretty much perfect spring green uh, i need to branch out on the eyes and the facial expressions donna but yeah i enjoyed this and uh and i'm gonna send some stuff to you miss crystal but um uh, i enjoyed making them i'm probably going to make some more because i don't know if anybody's like me but sometimes when i make something like this i just don't want to turn it loose <laughs> so anyway I appreciate that, Miss Crystal, so much. So then, oh my goodness, oh there you go. I seen something come up in my suggestion box or whatever on um, YouTube, and uh, I said I got to make it. So I then I made a ghost, <laughs> and this was so fun to do, so easy. And I made I made the ghost a little a little spring green bag. So that wasn't in the video. That was something extra I did. I just bought it up. I just winged it. But I enjoyed making this. And uh, you know, the underneath has the little. You don't stuff it fully because you got a little thing right there, and that what it makes the indention where it'll stand by itself. Super easy pattern to tour on on, on YouTube. And I like I said, I'll link all that for y'all. But I enjoy I enjoyed making, and I I probably gonna make another one or two. So, but yeah, that's all sitting on my um entertainment center all lined up, you know. And so that's what I've been I've done this week. So I think that's pretty good, old Kelly. You know, I think I did pretty good. So that's about it on the stuff I've done and you know all my works in progress, but. Uh, I wanted to show you last time we talked 
um oh lord i'm at 29 minutes i need to hurry up about some things i seen off bonnie day crochet she had some things that you need so i told you that i ho had ordered a few things well first thing i ordered was some more of these things row counters very cheap comes in two in the pack so i ordered them those are must-haves really i never used those until the last couple of years and now i can't live without them so then i ordered she said you needed one of these and i thought yeah kelly you about you about blind you know your eyesight is awful so she said i needed a thread a, a, a whatchamacallit you know a, a needle winder thread or whatever y'all know what i'm talking about so I said, okay, I, I think I need to bite on that. So what you do is you stick your um, your needle in there. You put your yarn, and y'all probably know all this, but you know, I didn't. <laughs> uh, you put your yarn in there, and it might, it might make your life easier if you don't know nothing about it. And then you just pull that thing through and uh, voila it's threaded i hope y'all seen all that because i wasn't watching y'all i was watching what how to thread it so yeah i got me one of them and it's it's pretty it's got some little decorations on it you know i got it off amazon and i may try to link all that for y'all if y'all want it. i ain't affiliated i just buy a whole bunch of mess so then she said i needed this this is a magnifying glass and it lights up and you know by golly this thing is nice and uh, like charlie said my husband he said what in the world it's a magnifying glass i said yes and you know what you can borrow it if you want to he said you need it too i said but you got to bring it back to me <laughs> so yeah that wasn't very expensive so those are some things that bonnie Blay crochet said i needed and I ain't never had. So I said, well, I won't buy no yarn. I'll just buy some little trinkets, some, um, you know, stuff. <laughs> okay, 22 minutes. I thought I was 29. All right, I can talk some more. Okay, so, you know, I I uh, had um, said I started that crochet club thing with um, Annie's. And, um. So I got it. I got my second one. It was $28 and something. And so I canceled it, y'all. I said, I can't justify me getting that every month when I don't even know when I'm going to get to that or if I even want to get to it. Because the last one I got, the very first one, I ain't digging that yarn. <clears throat> and I said, that's a lot of money to shell out for that when I could use that money to go buy a trinket. You know what I'm saying? So I canceled it. But the one I got is pretty. This time it's pretty. And it's some pretty yarn. Um, it had a pattern in it. Lacy mesh shawl. That's what you're supposed to make with it. And um, that's a pretty. Looks pretty easy. And um, so <clears throat> I'm not really sure about this. All of it though now that i think of it because there was some stuff when i was reading that kind of you know confused me so it had two two um two skeins of this color you know i've already played with it just a little bit and um let me see if I, that color is annie's kit club yarn it's 100 percent acrylic 3.5 ounces 300 yards and it's a too fine and i can tell that when you frog this it's not going to be easy to frog so when i do make something which i will i hope before i kick it it's gonna i got to bear in mind you got to really know what you're working on because that frogging stuff ain't gonna help so i had two skeins of that and then i had one of this color I didn't even tell you the color way of that other one. Sounds like I'm hoarse now. 
I went down with the UV color way. It just it's just yarn. Cool machine wash, tumble dry, do not bleach, do not iron. Yeah. That's a that's a given. But anyway, this is the other one. I had one skein of that. So yeah, it's pretty and everything, but I just can't I can't justify doing that every month. But so I canceled that. Um but it, you know, it was it come real quick. You know, it didn't tear any long before I got it. You know, they sent me an email, let me know it was coming. I, or I was going, I could have can't went in there and canceled any time, I guess. But before they told me it was coming, so. But yeah, you know, I, I can use that twenty eight dollars on something else. And I'll tell you what, that something else might be a loaf of bread or or a, um, a gallon of milk. I mean, y'all seen them uh, grocery prices lately? You know, it's not no fun to go to the grocery store right now. All right, let's get back to this. All right, what I, what do I need to make next? Well, I need to work on my blankets, you know. And I got to do a penguin. But, and I got all these little, little my, things in my mind from my friend at the schoolhouse. Uh, it's probably going to entail some of those little monsters. Because I think those youngins will love that. But I got this book several months ago. When uh, Miss Crystal was doing her little crochet along or whatever, I, and everybody bought these books, so I I want to make um. When I seen this, I and I looked at the penguin. Which one to make? So. But I want to make Boris the bear, so he might be going on the hook. Boris the bear. And it's it's not going to be. It says um. Um, natural cotton. No. It ain't gonna be no natural cotton. It's gonna be some worsted weight. Um, cost for a hook. Uh-uh. Heck no. It's probably gonna be a H or a G. So, <clears throat> and a size C for the muzzle. Mm, it may be a different size. And that says to hold two strands to get yarn together. Well, I ain't holding two strands of yarn together with the worsted weight. So, so we'll see what we get out of Boris. So Boris is going to be on my little in my little thinking cap. And then I I want to make a monkey. I ain't made a monkey yet. And I got some things I bought on my phone, some Etsy pattern. About a monkey. I think it might be the friendly red fox. And it might be stringy ding ding. It's going to be a choice of either one of them. But I got this book. And that's the monkey I want to make. I think. Maverick the monkey. But I'm confused on my choice of yarn colors. Because I got some. Uh, see this puppy dog. Oh there it goes. That color, uh, I got some of that, but I don't know. But then I got some, I got some of this color. Oh, let's see if I can get it. This is, a, I love this yarn. So, and this is terracotta. Love this yarn so soft so i don't know if the monkey would be right in that color or not so that's what i want i want to do look right there the monkey my husband wants me to make him a sock monkey but i ain't found no sock monkey patterns that i don't know sock monkey just looks weird to me that's just you know my personal opinion i also want to make these for my grandbabies where is it? Oh, right here for Christmas. I, I probably go, need to go ahead and get started on that as slow as I am. September, you know, we just had the beginning of September. It'll be October in two days. I mean, that's how fast this year's flown by. So, well, let me see. What else? I guess that's all I need to talk about. I'm now at 29 minutes. Hmm.
I hope y'all stuck around. Thank you if you have. Thank you for all my subscribers. All my girlfriends and if I got a guy friend on here. That's always stuck around with me. And uh, everybody that's come around and subscribed, you know, recently. I've picked up a few more this week. So, I appreciate every one of you. And uh, I... Uh, I reckon I'm going to hop off here. I'm glad Llama Mama Kayla's out in the hospital. Uh, I was worried about her. And so I've been thinking about her. And she, she got on here and made a video today. You know, checking in with us. So, well, that's it for me. I'm going to get out of here and um, y'all fix some tacos for me and Dalton. So, y'all have a good week. And, um. I'll catch y'all next time. I still ain't found my button in this room. I don't know what I done with my button. I I, I mean, it'll probably turn up whenever. I'm I, I thinking about ordering another one. And I know when I order the, another one, it's going to turn up. But y'all take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.